Namaste. Welcome to our yoga session in Pilates and Hatha Yoga. Anytime you visit us online, if you like, if you're ready to go out and train in the studio, welcome to here. Other than this, I will still got you uh, your yoga session in, on the mat recording on the YouTube. Any questions, suggestions, ask me the, under the video. I will be happy to hear from you how you like it, the yoga session, how you're doing, and a question really. So let's start today again in child pose position. I put the mat like sideways a little bit. So you're gonna see a little bit of from back and side, so you, maybe you understand better. Relax your head, relax the entire body. Just breathe to the back of your lungs. Allow yourself to relax a little bit deeper. Really, you don't have to go anywhere where your body is not allowing you to. Because the first few moments is for you to realize that the breath guide you farther and farther. You can always set the fists and relax your head. That way you don't strain your neck, your shoulders will be relaxed. As many variation of any poses, the child pose has a variation as well, as well. You can keep your knees open and relax your head and open your shoulders and your chest and also release the pelvis and open your pelvis. But this is one way, because when you bring your knees together, your pelvis still actually stretching, stretching your glutes and your hip crease actually contracting intentionally. And you can keep the fist, one fist, hands, or not, nothing, just head to the ground. If this is available for you, it's not necessary you have to touch everything, but you later notice that more you stretch, more you extend. So extend your arms farther forward, spread your fingers wide, and then very slowly rounding you back to cat. You can keep your knees this time, hip distance apart, press them at the way, relax your head and the table. You slightly rounding your back like an arching to make the spine length and relax on the ends. So head is relaxed and table relaxed. Then very slowly extend the ends, crown of the head forward, tailbone back, lengthen tailbone, and keep your back flat. Squeezing your floating ribs, the bottom of the ribs in, help you to keep the spine very long and straight. And then cow pose, squeeze your shoulder blades and lift your sternum higher. Keep your chin slightly pointing forward first and try to lift your sternum higher than your chin so you don't have to lift your chin high up. But if you feel the spine very long, extended, you might try to lift your chin higher by squeezing your shoulder blades toward each other. Keeping your chin pointing forward, press the floor away as you sitting bones touching your heels if this is available for you again. And relax your forehead to the ground. And again, round your back to cat. Press the mat away. You may tuck your toes under to make rounding. And open your chest to cow. As your feet are flat, roll your shoulder blades, extend your neck. Keep your chin pointing forward, sitting bones back so the spine will lengthen. And then relax your forehead toward the ground as you're sitting bones releasing on your heels. And again, chin to your chest maybe. So you're rounding up your body already. Press the mat away, head relaxed, table relaxed. Maybe tuck your toes to express deeper crouching. Then lengthen the table and the crown of the head to open your chest to cow. Squeeze your shoulder blades. Chin pointing forward and table back, extend the spine. That way you really take care of the spine healthy and release your forehead and ceiling bones to your heels. Then repeat this few more rounds, no rush. Just breathe. Maybe close your eyes so you 
really have no distractions. Do not see anything around you. You just really visualize your breath with your inner eye. Make sure you're breathing slowly, fully to entire body. And take one more round and find tabletop. Tabletop back is flat. Tuck your toes under. Keep your arms super strong, pressing them at the way. Push your sitting bones back. Relax your head looking between your knees and lift your sitting bones high up to down dog. Lifting your sitting bones higher, stretch the hamstrings, all the back of your legs. You might bend your knees and pedal in your heels or even without bending your knees, just pedaling your heels and that way you're gonna sway your pelvis side to side. Then find steady down dog. The steady down dog is also stretching the entire body. Press the neck away, squeeze your shoulder blades and keep the head hanging. Then walk your hands to your feet to forward fold on the back of the neck. You can always soften your knees if there's too much on your hamstrings. Even forward fold or down dog, when your sitting bones lifting higher, you stretch the back of your legs. The knees can be softly bent or just straight. Make sure your sitting bones lifting higher so you're really stretching the back of your legs. You can always grab your elbows to feel entire body release, relax. Then release your hands. And then place your hands on your shins just below the knees and press the shins and extend the neck like you try and point your crown of the head to the front of the mat. And exhale out forward fold. Now apply the cat to your ribs and cow at the same time when you extend the neck halfway one more time, squeeze your core. And exhale out forward fold, release. Now prick your feet to the ground like you try and make the mark on the mat. Hands on your hips, chin up, chest up, elbows back, press your feet down, and right away push your hips forward. As you push your hips forward, you extend your rib cage and circle your arms to the sky. Reach your arms high up, drop your shoulders, open your armpits, and either rotate your forearms, and reach your fingers high up. So find the extension of the feet down and fingertips to the sky, open your chest a little bit more, and come back to neutral spine. Hands to your heart center, sama stiti, even standing. Hands by your side, palms facing forward, tadasana, mountain pose. And circle your arms to the sky, reach your arms high up. And swan dive, open your arms to the side, chin forward, like we did the uh, child pose and sitting on your sitting bones, remember? Shin forward, sitting bones back, extend your arms to make the power of your fingers, release your hands down. Halfway, hands on your shins, maybe on the ground if this is available. And exhale out, forward fold. Print your feet to the ground, circle your arms to the sky, reach up, push your hips forward, open your chest, reach your arms higher back, squeeze your shoulder blades and back upper muscles, lift your arms higher back, Come back to neutral spine, hands to your heart center, samastiti, even standing, hands by your sides, palms facing forward, tadasana, hasta tadasana, lift your arms to the sky. Maybe reach your arms higher back up to lift your heels, quiet lifting, and you're gonna stay easy the way. If you like to find the balance on the balls of the feet and forward fold this way, use your fingers. So extend your arms to the sides, push your chin forward and sitting bones back. So as you lift your heels, extend your arms to the side and slightly back. Lift your heels and chin forward, sitting bones back. Move your arms slightly back with your fingers extending and powerful, very active. And release your hands to the ground and heels on the ground, forward fold. Halfway again. Exhale, release. Swap up, chin up. Slide back, bend, open your chest. And hands to your heart, samastiti. 
standing back bend. Place your hands on the sacrum. This is the on the top of the glutes, not on the unsupported spine. This is the, where the fuses of the pelvis is connect to the triangle, the sturdy bone. So place your hands there and try to press your feet down again. The more you're pressing your feet down, stronger your quads, the, the group muscles above the knees. So squeeze them a lot, so this is like a concrete. Push your hips forward and squeeze your elbows go toward each other. Drop your shoulders to make the neck long. The neck is your spine. It's really important to extend the entire spine. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Squeeze your navel to the spine. Squeeze your ribs in. Push your hips forward. Squeeze your quads. Stronger your legs you will have will be easier for your lower back. Squeeze your elbows back together. You're not using your glutes this time. You're using your legs pressing down. The back bend stand starting from your legs and extend the entire spine. More you're squeezing your shoulder blades and elbows toward each other will be deeper back bend and breathe to your upper chest. up and come back to neutral spine and then release your hands by your sides find the neutral spine length the neck and lift your arms to the sky to make the spine neutral and release your right arm on the side relax your right arm heavy down so you're not really using anything on the right side yet lift your left arm higher Extend the entire spine, slightly push your hips forward so the back is flat, and lean to the side. Avoid any back bend on your lower back. You might open left armpit, but keep your shoulder blades together. Remind yourself that the neck is your spine. And come back to neutral, both arms up, even out both sides of your body, and release your left arm on the side. Open right armpit, make the back flat, Squeeze your belly, push your hips slightly forward. Squeeze your pelvic floor. Fingers active to link the side. Shoulders relax away from your ears. Neck is long. Then come back to the center, both arms up. Lift your arms to the sky. And again, reach your arms higher back up. Maybe lift your heels. If you like to forward fold, focus on extension and opposition. Extend your fingers to the side. Shin forward, sitting bones back, squeeze your core, extend your arms, squeeze your core in the back and in the front. To forward fold, release your hands and maybe release your heels as well. Halfway, look forward. Exhale, release and walk your hands forward to plank. As you find the plank position, press your heels back and press them out of way. Shift entire body forward. Keep pressing the mat away. Squeeze your core. Maybe knees bend or straight. If you like to bend your knees, it's okay. And lower your sternum, then belly on the ground. Extend your arms back. Triceps up. Legs up. Locus pose. Lift your chest. Lift everything higher. Inhale. And release down. And again, lift up. Locus. And keep upper body up, lower your feet to have locus. Lift your chest a little bit higher, squeeze your shoulder blades and release down. Hands next to your chest and press up to child pose. Sit down on your heels, knees together. It will counterpose the back bend. When you zip your knees together, you're really focusing on the breath to the back on your lower back. You squeeze your front of your body which is your rib cage, and you're squeezing the diaphragm to expand to your back, which is you're giving the oxygen to every single vertebrae on your back. Extend your arms farther forward, rounding your back to cat. Open your chest to cow. Tug your toes, press the mat, down dog. Walk your hands to your feet to 
forward bend on the back of the neck. Relax your hips. Have way length the spine and the neck. And exhale out full. Print your feet to the ground. Circle your arms to the sky. Open your chest. Push your hips forward. Open your heart. Cactus back bend. Keep your legs squeezed. Go back to neutral spine. And then release your left arm on the side, lean to the left. Maybe you like to extend leg to find the balance in the standing leg. Maybe you reach your right toes to the side, touching the ground, or maybe even not touching. Extend your fingers, more extending your toes, so you find opposition and press their left foot on the ground. Come back to the center and switch. Release your right arm, maybe left foot on the side, toes touching or lift. Keep pushing your hips forward and try to not reach your torso over to the side. Try to lift all position with your legs and keep your hips aligned with your ankle. And come back to the center, core always engaging. You lift your arms, relax your shoulders. Maybe lift your heels, inhale. And very slowly exhaling forward fold. way. Exhale, full, and walk your hands forward again to tabletop. Again, knees bend or straight, lower your sternum and stomach on the ground. This time, hands by your waistline. Keep your elbows back, press the toenails against the floor, feel your legs, pubic bone on the ground, chest up to cobra knees, uh, straight your elbows or keep them bent, but make sure your pubic bone is on the ground and shoulder blades together. Inhale and exhale, release. Cobra, the elbows are, shouldn't be straight, really. And again, open your chest, press them at the way you peel your belly up, open your heart, squeeze your shoulder blades and release down. Sit down on your heels to child pose. And again, breathe to the back of your lungs to release any tension if you have in your lower back. And again, round your back to cat. Open your chest to cow. Tuck your toes down dog, sitting bones high up. Lift your heels, lift your hips, press them in the way, tiptoes walk. Walk your feet side to side, foot by foot, inch by inch. Try to lift from your sitting bones so you don't bend in your knees as long as possible you can. And forward fold, release. Have way, look forward, exhale, release. And circle your arms to the sky, push your hips forward, open your heart, cactus back when if you wish. And extend your arms to the sky, release your arms to the side, maybe extend the inside leg so you stretch sides, rounding, core engaging. Come back to the center, we're switching sides, release, maybe extending all the legs, squeeze your core. Come back to the center, if you like, lift your heels. And exhale out forward fold. Swan dive. Hips up or down. Have way. And step or jump back to plank. Low plank cobra or up dog. When you do up dog, hips and thighs off of the ground. And you can go to child pose or directly to down dog. Lift your heels, soften your knees, gaze forward, ha few hops or one huge jump to forward fold. Without any noise, if you like. Have way, exhale out full. Circle your arms, push your hips forward, cactus back bend. Neutral spine. Raise your arm to the side, doesn't matter which one. Lift your leg if you like. Come back to the center, switch your sides. Go 
come back to the center, swan dive. Halfway. Exhale out full. Here, hops or jump back to plank. Vanyasa flow. Cobra or up dog. Down dog. Press the mat away. You can stay here, down dog or child pose. Or repeat one more vanyasa flow without siding bend. So lift your heels, soften your knees, hop or jump forward, forward fold. Halfway, exhale out full. Circle your arms, if you like cactus backbend. In neutral, lift your arms, maybe heels. Forward fold. Halfway, full, plank, vanyasa flow. Vanyasa flow is warming up entire body and boosting up all the muscles, keep the strength and stretches. Now, Namaskar A, lift your right leg high up. Right knee to your forehead, squeeze your core, press the floor away, like rounding down dog, so hips high up. Lifting your hips higher, allow you to bring the knee forward and step your right foot in between your hands to run as lunge. Lift your left heel higher to keep the left quads really strong and stretch your left hip crease. Push your right sitting bone back and in, so you make the spine long. Left hand under left shoulder, right hand on your right hip, rotate your torso back. Twist to the right and lift your right arm to the sky. Press your right foot down, extend the neck, squeeze your shoulder blades. Inhale. Exhale, lower right hand on the ground, step back to plank. Manyasa flow. Or just down dog. Left leg up. Left knee to your forehead, rounding down dog, hips high up, press the floor away. Left foot in between your hands, runner's lunge. Lift your right heel higher, square your pelvis, press your left foot down, length the neck. Left hand on your hip, extend the neck, spine long, twist. Left arm to the sky, extend your left arm higher, maybe lower your hip a little bit more, inhale. Exhale, left hand on the ground, step back to plank, vanyasa flow. Breathe. We're gonna repeat Vanyasa flow, but we're gonna build a little bit more in it. So lift your right leg high up, square your hips, lift your right heel higher, right knee to your forehead, rounding down dog, squeeze your core, right foot in between your hands to runners, keep your left heel up. Press your right foot down, extend your arms. Squeeze your core, squeeze your ribs, and lift your triceps higher. Soften your left knee. Press the mat away with your right arm, right leg, so you lift your arms to the sky. Then try to square your pelvis, bend your right knee a little bit deeper, and extend your left leg a little bit more. Length the spine, keep breathing. Lift your arms, stretch your sides of your body to twist to the right. Keep pressing right heel, right foot forward and lean slightly back to twist a little bit deeper. Keep the neck long. Keep your arms active, extended. Lower left hand inside the right foot as you lift your right arm higher. Keep the neck long, shoulder blades against. Inhale. Exhale, lower right hand. Step back to plank. And vanyasa flow or just down dog. Left leg up. Lift and inner rotate your thigh bone, square your pelvis, lift your left leg higher. Left knee to your forehead, rounding down dog. 
press the mat, squeeze your core, left foot in between your hands, runners, length the spine, length the neck, feel the heel lifting and pressing, press your left foot down and forward to extend your arms to thunder lunge. Keep your left foot actively pressing down, left sitting bone back and squeeze your legs toward each other as you lift your triceps higher and point your fingers back. Spine is long. Soften your right knee, lift your arms to the sky, stretch your right hip crease, squeeze your core, and lift your arms to the sky. Keep pressing right foot down so you push yourself away from the front. So you can lower your pelvis, squeeze your hips, straighten your right leg, relax your shoulders, ribs engage. Now reach your arms higher, maybe lift your hips slightly and twist to the left. When you reach back, lean back, lower your pelvis, so you twist a little bit deeper from your waistline. Right hand is side the left foot, revolving lizardly, push your left hip foot down, lift your left arm higher, keep your neck long. Left hand on the ground, be stepping back, do vanyasa flow again, or just down dog or child pose. your heels higher, press your heels down to feel. It's many, many variations of Vanyasa flow. So let's do one more time of Namaskar A, but a little bit add to it. So this time, lift your right leg high up, right knee to your forehead, rounding down dog. Right foot in between your hands to runner's lunge. Lift your left heel. Extend your arms, triceps up. High lunge. Lift your arms to the sky. Lower your pelvis. Twist to the right. Lengthen the spine. Lean back. Left hand inside the right foot. Roll your shoulder blades back and twist even deeper. Inhale. Exhale. Right hand inside the right foot. Expand the pyramid lizard without changing the distance of your feet. Just lift your toes, lift your left heel, straight your legs as much, and walk your hands to the left to wide open forward fold, to forward fold deep. And stretch the hamstrings. Hands on your hips, elbows up, chin up, standing up. Push your hips forward, twist your toes to the right to warrior two. Relax your shoulders, extend your neck, and again, Keep pressing right foot actively so you lean back. Keep your left quad strong to support your knees. Keep pushing your hips to the side wall in front of you, but looking on the hand in front. Open your right palm, reverse warrior. Then reach higher to straighten you from leg to reverse triangle. And triangle, keep breathing. Push your pelvis back. Keep the neck long, the back of the head, the extending your spine. Keep your left fingers active so you have less pressure on your right hand. And then side angle. You can place your forearm on your thigh bone or lower. Keep pushing your pelvis back and to the side. Maybe reach your arm over your head. And then Circle to reverse warrior, wear no hands down, step back to plank, and vanyasa flow. Left leg up, inner rotate your thigh, squeeze your core, left knee to your forehead, round. Left foot in between your hands, runners. Soften your knee, extend your arms, thunder. Lift up to high lunge. Lift your arms a little bit higher, twist your torso to the left. 
lift your left arm higher back, extend the neck, maybe shift forward and back, right hand inside the left foot, reverse, left hand inside the left foot to lizard and expand the pyramid lizard, both legs straight as possible, feet don't change the distance and walk your hands to your right to wide open forward fold, relax your forehead closer to the ground. Press your feet down, hands on your hips, elbows up, chin up, standing up, push your hips forward, warrior two. Twist your ten toes to the left, shoulders relax, press your left foot down to lean slightly back. You don't stop pressing your feet to the ground, so you really feel grounded and not using your joints. Look on the fingers, extending arms, relax your shoulders. Reverse warrior, high five to the back wall, straighten your left side of your body, reach your left fingers high and pull, so you straighten your left leg more. Press your left foot down, reach your left fingers higher, so you feel oblique stretching. Triangle, arms open to the side, push your pelvis back, and try to lean back so the torso is like between walls, and lower left arm, lift your right. Squeeze your shoulder blades, and again, you can always adjust, and keep your right arm strong so you less pressure on your left foot. Then bend your left knee, side angle. Maybe stretch your arm over your head. And reverse warrior. And one more hands down. Step back to plank. You can go to child pose or vanyasa flow. Down dog, sitting bones higher. Press the mat away and walk your hands to your feet to forward fold on the back of the mat. Relax your head for a moment. Halfway look forward. Exhale out full, hands on your hips, elbows up, chin up, standing up. Step your feet mat distance apart. After the Namaskar A, everything Namaskar A is simple, flow. You can repeat this different variation. On the base on this, we can do Namaskar B. Namaskar B is to add the chair into it. But first, let's find how the chair is set. We open your feet wider to make the horse sit. Lift your toes so keep your feet grounded, four corners. And push your sitting bones already back. But try to not sit on your lower back. So again, squeeze your ribs outside in. Extend the neck, spine is long and push your sitting bones back as you press your feet down. Extend your arms forward, fingers pointing forward, palms together. Extend the leg, you have the legs to drive and hold sit back right. <laughs> press your feet down, even your sitting bones pressing back. Extend your arms, then very slowly stand up nice and tall to start. Open your arms, toes this time is not opening because we're binding arms behind the back. Intertwine your fingers and place your palms together and don't compensate to open your palms because these really low joints, when you overpress them or put the weights, they might have inflammation. So protect this by pressing your palms together. You may bend your elbows, you don't have to straighten them. Start squeezing your shoulder blades towards each other and if your elbows straighten, it's fine. If not, it's all right. So just lift your toes, four corners of the feet grounded, and again, horse sit, binding arms. Squeeze your navel to the spine, press your knuckles back, and push your sitting bones back. As you see, my neck is really extended. So try to extend the neck so your spine is long. Then move your arms away from your lower back, over your head, and sit a little, maybe a little bit deeper. Keep moving your arms and maybe straighten your legs. Palms still together, press your feet down, lift your sitting bones higher. If your legs are not ready to straight, it's fine. If your arms not ready to move away from your lower back, it's fine as well. Just squeeze your shoulder blades. You can keep your elbows bent, but keep your palms together. 
Relax for a moment. And we're gonna sway arms in front of you to horse it again. Sway your arms, extend your arms forward, and stand up nice and tall. Palms together to the heart center. So this is similar than chair pose, right? So let's make simple movement of the shifting weight side to side before we really do Namaskar B. Hands on your hips, shift your weights on your right foot, step your right foot halfway on the mat, on the right side. So this is wide hip distance. Hip distance is your, your hips on the head of the femur, really. So this is wide, wider than you think, really. Hands on your uh, top of the waistline and push your right sitting bone back and bend your right knee. Again, press your right foot forward to lean back. Keep your left leg straight. The left leg is trying to be bent because our body is looking for shortcut all the time. So press your left foot more, strengthen your left leg and keep stretching on the left hip crease. Squeeze your ribs in to protect your lower back. Both feet pressing evenly to the ground. Roll your shoulder blades back to lift your arms to the sky. We're going to warrior three. Relax your shoulders, squeeze your ribs, extend your spine. Shift your weights on your right foot. Extend your arms back up, uh, up in front of you. Sway your foot to the middle line. Extend your arms and press your left heel back at the same time. As you see, my sitting bone going back and you keep your knees slightly bent. Keep extending your arms so the spine is long and press your left heel high back and press your right foot down so you feel strongly extended. And lift your arms to the sky as high as possible. You might lift your right knee to karate kick. If you like high kick, you might try. So you really press the heel and step your left foot on the left front corner of the mat to warrior one on the other side. You can place your hands on the waistline to feel the Balance, set yourself, you don't have to rush to anything, just find yourself grounded. Roll your shoulder blades back, lift your arms, lean back, relax your shoulders, squeeze your ribs, inner rotate your thigh, right thigh bone, and help you to square your pelvis. And again, press left foot down and push yourself away so you shift your weight and the shoulders always will be above your pelvis. And again, Arms align with your ears. The more you stretch your arms, the spine will be long. Lift your chin so that help you to neck be extended. Keep that. Shift your weight on your left heel. Zip your leg to the middle line. Square your pelvis. Reach your arms high up and the torso extend up. And then start pressing right heel back. So you're gonna use your glutes. Left glutes is stretching, right hip is, co glutes is contracting. Press your right heel back while you're extending arms forward. Don't give up what you're looking for in the future. Press the pass away, really. And lift up, karate kick again. So you can lift your right knee, pointing your toes help you to really contract the hip crease, flex your ankle if you like to extend, and step your right foot next to, left, uh, to the side. We're going to horse it again. Sit down back, palms together. Relax your shoulders. Stand up nice and tall, like a star. Open your arms. So from whatever you learn, please release your hands on your waistline. Whatever you learn from warrior two or uh, warrior three, we're gonna add to, uh, uh, apply actually to half moon. How this works. So extend your arms and twist only right toes to the right. Release your hands for a moment to relax your shoulders. Make sure hips forward so the torso, ear, shoulder, hip is in one line. And try to not move any direction. Try to keep this way, but soft with the breath. So now bend your knee, push your pelvis back like warrior two, triangle, and uh, warrior three. Right hand aiming to the ground. Left feet, remember how we forward fold? The fingers have power. Open your chest, press your right foot down and lift your left leg behind you. Press your left heel higher, extend the neck and reach your left arm above you. Open your heart a little bit more, squeeze your core, extending your neck. 
lifting left arm higher help you to gentle step down these fingers always hold help you to hold and other side release your left arm left of the side if you like to step out of the mat or on the mat it's up to you the hardwood floor is easier many times because it's more grounded open your torso extend your neck push your pelvis back press your left foot down and reach your right leg back keep the neck long Keep your right fingers active, the top fingers. Keep pressing the top foot back so you stack your hips aligned. Lifting our fingers higher, step wide open. Bind your arm, if you don't remember to switch the grip, you might bind your arms, lift your toes. Corset binding arms again, bring your chest in between your thighs and move your arms over your head. Maybe straighten your legs. And release your hands behind your legs. Release them completely. And tick tack your feet together. Lift your chest halfway, length the spine and the neck and exhale out full, lift your toes, sitting bones back, zip your legs to chair pose, Namaskar V. Lift your arms to the sky, relax your shoulders, squeeze your legs, extend your neck. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. Halfway, exhale out full, and Vanyasa flow, jump or step back to plank. And we're going to down dog. Downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Lift your right leg high up. Open your hip. Press the mat away. Lay the spine and lift your right leg high up. Right knee to your forehead, rounding down dog. You can add rounding plank. You can add three-legged plank. You can add side plank. And bend your right knee, right elbow to step forward runners. Based on before, extend your arms, thunder lunge. Soften your left knee, high lunge. Lean back, lift your arms. Lift to twist. Length the spine, length the neck. We did this before so we can add exalted lunge. Hand behind your left hip, lower your pelvis, lift your arm higher to twist deeper. Squeeze your core, revolving side angle. Left elbow outside the thigh bone. Palms against each other, extend your neck, lift your heel higher, extend and twist. Look forward, lift your hips, you can slide, or if you can lift and hold for a moment to find the balance on the right foot. Then left foot next to right, chair pose, zip your legs together. Twist your torso up, open your heart, squeeze your core. Breathe. Chair pose, arms to the sky. Lift your left heel on the ground, karate kick if you're ready right away. So lift your left knee up, lean back. Warrior three. You can extend your left leg and move your foot back. Open your heart. Airplane, extend your arms. Half moon. Lower right arm, lift your left arm higher, press your left heel back. Keep your neck long, extend the entire body, press your left heel back. Lift your left arm higher to gentle step to warrior two. Right knee bend, relax your shoulders, press your feet. Reverse triangle, high five to the back wall. And triangle, lower right hand. Side angle. Reverse warrior. And with more hands down, frame your right foot. Step back to plank, vanyasa flow. Lift your heels, soften your knees, gaze forward, jump or step to forward fold. Halfway. 
Exhale out for chair pose. Exhale out forward fold. Vanyasa floor down dog. Lift your left leg up. Open your hip. Left leg up. Left knee to your forehead, rounding down dog. Step your left foot in between your hands. Thunder lunge. Extend your arms. High lunge. Lift your arms. Press your left foot. Twist to the left. Lengthen the spine. Exalted lunge if you're ready. Revolving side angle. And twisting chair or stand up to revolving side angle. Left, right leg extended. And find the chair for a few breaths. Squeeze your legs and breathe. Come back to the center to chair. Lift your arms and karate key, go just foot on the ground and then karate key. Extend your right foot and warrior three. Reach your right leg back, arms forward. Open your arms earthly. Half moon, very slowly, no rush. Lift your right arm higher to step to warrior two. Reverse warrior, reverse triangle, triangle, head is back, right arm up, extend, side angle. Reverse warrior, one more hands down, Fla frame your left foot, step back to plank. Vanyasa flow, I forgot the other side. Opposite side. So now, because we did a extended variation of the other side, so now walk your hands back, forward fold for a moment, grab your elbows, relax. We're gonna another uh, Namaskar B, little bit more I add a few poses into it. You don't have to do everything. You might skip or just flowing with me. So walk your hands forward to down dog. Lift your heels, soften your knees, gaze forward, jump or step to forward fold. Halfway, exhale out full. This time, circle your arms to the sky and open your chest and make the cactus back bend. Open your heart, lift your arms to Samastiti. Close your eyes for a moment to find yourself grounded in this moment before the Namaskar B on another side. Now lift your toes, press your feet, lift your arms, chair pose. Sit down, squeeze your shoulder blades. Extend your arms, squeeze your ribs, back is flat, inhale, and exhale out, forward fold. Halfway, exhale out, full, vanyasa flow. And down dog. We're starting on this side, and we do this uh, side plank on this side, not the other side this time. Lift your left leg high up, open your hip, press the other way, squeeze your shoulder blades, and left leg high up, rounding down dog. We adding rounding plank. We adding three-legged plank and side plank. You can always skip that what we're doing, right? Breath knee, left elbow, step forward, runner's lunge. Look forward, and again, thunder lunge. High lunge, lift your arms to the sky. Lift your hips and arms, twist, extend, exalted lunge. And revolving side angle. And revolving.
standing chair, maybe lift your leg to standing split and twist and put, repeat the foot. This time you can stay for a few breaths to twisting chair. You may open your arms to really extend the spine or if you like to, you can go to side crow. Hands on the side, lean back and the feet will lift in. If you're not happening today, no worries. Chair. Lift your arms to the sky. Lift your right heel. Stand up nice and tall. Push your hips forward to find the balance on the left foot. Knee up. With your arms farther back, extend your leg to warrior three. Kick your right heel back, fingers forward. Airplane, extend your arms to half moon. Right arm higher to gentle step to warrior two. Lift your arms, straight your legs, transverse lunge to your right. Push your pelvis back and arm against your right leg to open your pelvis and go back to warrior two. Reverse warrior, reverse triangle, triangle, pelvis back, extend your neck, side angle, and beach ball between your hands, five, four, three, two, lift up, transverse one, lunge one more time, and warrior two, reverse warrior, with more hands down, frame your left foot, step back, vanyasa flow. And down dog, lift your heels, soften your knees, Hop or jump to forward fold. Halfway, exhale, full chair. If you ever like to add, add anything, you can lift your heels. Forward fold. To find your safe down dog or vanyasa from the down dog. So now we're gonna lift the right leg. Just breathe, five breaths. Right leg up, open your hip. This time we're not gonna do outside plank. Just straight your right leg high up. Right into your forehead, rounding down dog. Right foot in between your hands to runners. Counter, leg the spine. High lunge, lift your arms. Lift the twist, put your right arm back. Exalted lunge. And revolving side angle, extend your neck. Palms against each other, twist length. Maybe lift your foot if you did before, or just slide your foot. And twisting chair. And again, you can stay here or go to side crow. Maybe open your arms. You go to side crow, land your hands, extend your neck. And come back to the center. Straight your arms to the ceiling. Press your right foot down. Lift your left heel. Push your hips forward. Lift your left knee. Extend your left leg. Warrior three. Chin forward. Spine long. Arms long. Leg long. Airplane. Half moon. Lift your left arm to step to warrior two. Arms lifting, 
transverse lunge, warrior two to your right, reverse warrior, reverse triangle, triangle to side angle. And then beach ball between your hands. And transverse lunge again, lower your pelvis. And again, warrior two. Reverse. Wimo hands down. Jump or step back to plank. And vanyasa flow. Down dog. And child pose. Sit down on your heels. Relax your forehead closer to the ground and you're gonna notice probably the child pose can go deeper this time for you. Just relax. Round your back to cat. Open your chest, cross your legs. Two, sit down. Lift your chest, lift your feet, hands to your heart. Higher lifting your shins is more challenging, but make sure neck is long and spine is long. Twist side to side as you're trying to touch opposite elbows to opposite knees. More you squeezing your legs will be easier on your hips. Squeeze your core, use your core, not your hips. 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, one, and canoe and boat. Canoe and boat. Canoe and boat. Ten, nine, five, four. Three, two, one. Full body stretch. Extend your arms. Hands by your sides. Land your feet on the ground to bridge pose. Roll your shoulders underneath. Press your feet so you push your hips over your head, really. Over your shoulders. Squeeze your upper back muscles, not your glutes. And release your pelvis. Soles of the feet together, open your knees. Allow the pelvis to be open. Open your arms. Zip your knees together. Reclining pigeon. Left fingers behind your left ear. Left elbow, right knee twist. And then nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And release left knee and move your knees to your left. Stretch your right arm over your head and keep your left arm on the ground. And lift your chin up and lower. Lift your chin up and lower. If you like both arms, both arms. You can open left arm and left fingers behind your left ear. What is the best for you, muscle of your core? And one, two, and three. Lift your knees up, unwind your left leg, lift your right leg. Place your right ankle outside, open your right knee, reclining pigeon. Right fingers behind your right ear, right elbow, right foot crunch. And another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Zip your legs and lower knees to the right. You can keep your fingers behind, left arm over your head and lift. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 
five, four, three, two, and one. And lift. And lift your legs to the sky. Another bridge pose or wheel pose. Relax, soles of the feet together. Lift your arms over your head, zip your legs together. Keep your lower back on the ground. Lift your knees to shelf. One more, 10 seconds for yogi bicycle. Elbow to the knee. Lift your shoulders higher instead of the knees. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one and again you can go to wheel pose or bridge pose again hips high up stretch your body squeeze your shoulder blades back open your heart press them at the way with your arms and your legs squeeze your shoulder blades press the bottom the body who touches the mat against the mat And then release very slowly again. Zip your knees together, open your uh, feet wider. Open your arms side to side, windshield wipers side to side. And bring your feet together. Scoot your hips to the left. So the left hip don't touch the ground, bring your knees higher and lower knees to the right as your head twisting to the left. Supine twist. Breathe, relax. Zip your knees together to the center, readjust your pelvis and scoot your pelvis to the right, right hip don't touch the ground, lift your knees higher and roll your knees to the left, twist left to the right, relax your shoulders, squeeze in. Extend your neck, keep breathing. Come back to the center, hips on the ground, straighten your legs to the sky. If you like happy baby pose, you might do that. Relax your pelvis or zip your knees together to your chest, round your upper body, take deeper breath in. Exhale, squeeze and play your body move. And again, exhale, one more, exhale, and stretch. Straight your legs to each corner of the mat, hands by your sides, palms open up to Shavasana. Final relaxation. Relax. Relax for a few more moments, knowing that you earned the relax. Because everything before this moment was for this moment actually. You work so hard in your body, on your body, movements, release anything you need to release and achieve whatever your body needs to achieve. And everything what you need, you already have. So now appreciate the moment right now, knowing that 
that is the best moment for you to notice that you are perfect you in this moment. Also understand that this is constantly changing in the world, in the universe. We are constantly changing. And it's up to you what you put for the changing. It's not a mistake, it's just a lesson and achieving more to be better. Knowing that you are beautiful, strong and healthy, keep that in your mind and breathe and find that inhaling love, you're accepting everything as it is and then find the inner peace. Enjoy it. And as you exhale out, let it go with gratitude. Making a new space so you can inhale love, find the inner peace, enjoy and exhale out with gratitude. Enjoy the rest of the Shavasana as long as you like to, with much peace, love and joy. Om Shanti, Om Peace, Namaste.